Hey again, it's Greg and Chris on camera. Here's our new design. We're pretty proud of it. We went with rectangular plates that we could shear or cut because they were neater and cleaner. And we went with a vertical design this time. Our last one was round plates and we felt that the bubbles weren't getting enough chance. But if we tilted up vertically and we sized this one for this particular tube, I think we're going to be pretty successful. We're still dealing with the amp problem. There's a lot of plates in there and that that creates quite a few amps. So, uh, may, you may be asking yourself, what's with the coat hanger? It's an alignment tool. On to the next step. All right, here's our next process. And this is going to include using a stainless steel welding rod to take the place of this hanger. We're going to slide it through and we're going to braze it using silver flux and silver brazing material and map gas. So I thought you might be interested in seeing that, so we're going to show it to you. Go. We got her done. We had a sacrificial hole that we used to keep the spacing while we were brazing our stainless steel rod on. And here's its intended home. And have fun storming the castle. <laughs> Ready? Yep. a little more impressive. I love the clear jug. <laughs> <laughs> 